What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Fish Tank Friday. Today I'm going to show you how I do a quick water change on my 65 gallon Red Sea Max 250. You are going to need obviously water, some sort of pump or siphon to take the water out of the tank, towels. I also usually clean my tank when I do the water change and uh, have the refractometer so that I can make sure that my salinities are right once the water's all changed. Okay, so first things first, get your hair out the way. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe, turn notifications on, all that good stuff. All right, let's get into this. Open everything up. You're gonna wanna turn the pumps off. All right, so I try to minimize the mess, put a towel down. Then you're going to start with taking out however much of water change you're gonna do. I usually do 10 gallons. You're going to have your buckets. I use the one with water in it already as a base. And then I put an empty one on top of it. Second empty one on deck, ready to go to do the swap. The first five gallons of water is going into here. Now you're going to use your syringe to start sucking the water out. And I'm gonna put the link to the one I got below. I think it was like 10 bucks. I sometimes siphon out of the back. For the sake of this video, I'm just gonna do a main tank uh, siphon. So you put it in here. I see. It starts to pour. If there's anything um, on the rocks and stuff, like you can clean up the rocks and suck some of that, some of that stuff off. I almost took out a snail. All right, and now we wait. Do, 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 do. Alright, so once it's getting to the top, instead of having a suction again, I put my thumb over the suction here. Sometimes this works, honestly, sometimes it doesn't. I'm gonna hold that there. I'm gonna, oh, it's making a mess, I told you. <laughs> well. Damn, all that and I lost the suction. And I just poured it all over the thing. Well, I'll pick that up when I'm done, I guess. Look at the mess I made. Oh my God. I'm pretty sure it was pouring all in here. Luckily it didn't go in there. But it sure did make a mess over there. I promise you that has never happened to me, ever. I got distracted and I, let my fingers slip and then I was focusing on the drippage over here and I hit the bucket and then it was just like, yeesh. I mean, I understand if you just want to click out of this video right now. <laughs> Anywho, you're gonna um, cap these waters, put them aside so that way you can go dump them when you're done with everything. So ironically, you know I said how to do a quick water change. This is actually the slowest water change I've ever done because I've spent more time picking stuff up than I have changing water. But you know, we'll get there. And now is the time that I usually clean the tank with some filter floss. I recently scraped the glass though, so it's not really that dirty, but I'm just gonna give it a quick little. I have this old milk crate that I used to sand on to uh, get down, down, down. ready to put the, your fresh water back in. So I use the milk crate that I have, put the new five gallons on top. Just try not to make a mess with this one. Not that it matters at this point because everything's a disaster, but whatever. And then I have this um, one gallon water jug. I cut the top off and that's what I use to put it back in. Once 
All right. Put it back down. Boom. Use your uh, refractometer at the end to make sure your salinity is good and then you're good to go. Clean or change the filter. So at this point your water change is done, all you gotta do is dump your buckets, clean up your mess. I recommend not doing what I did and just take the tube out of the water, switch the buckets, and then recycle the soup tube. Or if you have somebody to help you, then that method would work great and you could just switch it. Or the other thing you could do is put the bucket right next to it and just move the water like that, which now that I think about it, that's usually what I do. I don't know why I decided to try to lift the bucket. Anyway. Thanks for uh, watching Fish Tank Friday. Be sure to subscribe, turn those notifications on, and uh, hit that like button for me. And we will see you in the next one. Later. I mean, I did tell you you were gonna need towels, right? So I got that right. Anyway, let's clean this up before my mom comes back to work and kicks my ass. Oh, everything's dirty.